Welcome everybody. Today is the February 25, 2022 meeting of the Assembly's Reapportionment Committee. And we are called to order at 2.32, I think. Madam Clerk, will you please take the roll? Mr. Costin? Here. Mr. Peterson? Present. Ms. Kennedy? Ms. Quinn Davidson? Here. Mr. Rivera? Present. Mr. Wilson? Here. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. So, uh, the, the purpose of today is to uh, codify some of the outcomes of the work session <laughs> that we had just previous to this meeting. And we're going to take up revisions to the timeline and a conversation about what the next steps are for the process. So uh, that's <clears throat> discussion of new business, of the AO, timeline, those things are on the agenda. So anything that we should add to the agenda. Okay, done. We're going to proceed with the agenda. Um, Madam Clerk, oh, thank you. She's published up on the screen uh, the dates for the proceedings to continue. She numbers agree. Uh, and the dates are as specified to continue with the public hearing as previously planned for March the 1st, next Tuesday. At that point, the uh, intention, oh, no, no, for the record, Ms. Kennedy has joined us, that the intention is to uh, close the public hearing on that day and to move a map, whatever the body decides is the ideal map to move forward. The committee will not take a position today on which map to move forward. So, if a single map is moved and forwarded, we will then uh, continue or no, we'll set a new public hearing on that map and that item for March 15th. But in between that on March 7th, amendments are going to be due to the contractor. And the contractor will get them uploaded as quickly as possible and for us to circulate to the public, get that printed and published, circulated broadly. On the 15th, we'll have the public hearing. Then we'll schedule a work session on either March 17th or 18th to discuss the amendments that were put into the queue, into the system by the 7th. And then we will proceed to have a special meeting on the 23rd of March to uh, address amendments and to finalize the reinforcement plan at the special meeting. I would just note that we will also have a resolution that will be published on the same agenda that will declare a vacancy that will uh, begin the process of fulfilling the 12th seat. So there will be at least two items on that agenda. And so probably even at the work session, we'll be able to brief folks on that and the clerk will be working to establish the timelines. So is there any objection to that timeline? Uh, yeah, Thomas, no, Ms. Quiggins. Yeah, this is an objection. I think it sounds great. Um, I think you and I are both flying back from the, I don't know your schedule, I guess, but I would prefer the 18th, if you could, in the morning, rather than the 17th. Got it. Good call. So we'll narrow that down to the 18th, because yes, Ms. Williams and I are in a conference. That specifies today. So, is there any objection by committee members to this calendar? Hearing no objection, so this new... Oh, Ms. Kennedy, go ahead. Mr. Chair, could you just go over all those dates one more time, yeah, please? No problem. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. As, yeah, March the 1st, continue to have the next public hearing, which is already scheduled. March the 7th, amendments are due to the contractor. March the 15th, we'll schedule a new public hearing. And that will not take action that night, but we will uh, move forward from that meeting to. Uh, well, actually, let me go back up to the public hearing on March 1st. The uh, public hearing on March 1st, the public hearing will conclude, and we may take, may have a, a motion to approve one map. Then March 7th, amendments are due to the contractor. Then March 15th, public hearing is scheduled, which will include the amendments. Then on March 18th, we will schedule a work session. And then on March 23rd, we'll have a special meeting to vote on reapportionment and the uh, Declaration of Vacancy. Got it. Thank you. And I, I texted that to you too, Ms. Kennedy. Mr. Watson. 
Well, thanks. So, so I guess maybe just moving on the other thing, a declaration of vacancy. What is our process for that? Is it the uh, introduction of public hearing on it, or just resolution? Resolution, you know we have one. Yep. Okay. It's a simple resolution. It's in draft mode at this point, and it'll be circulating soon. And that's good news. Another thing we had discussed, and I could go either way, but was setting a committee meeting on the 11th, or, or maybe rather a work session for the whole group so that we could talk through the amendments that are hot off the press. And they're going to go to the public. Did right. we decide not to do that? I think what we decided, according to Ms. Alatel's proposal, was to have the work session to address the oh, I'm sorry. on oh, the 18th. Sorry. Instead Forgot. of the 11th, which yep. is still, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have a briefing on the amendments to get a sense of what, what the details are in advance of that public hearing. <coughs> but the public hearing is scheduled. And yeah, that's fine. I just, Friday afternoon, bring the <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask the question, is there any objection to this proposed timeline as drafted? Can I? Ms. Quinn-Davis. I'm sorry. So just so we're clear with the public, the intent would be to release the amendments to the public as of March 11th, right? So that's not on there, but that would be our hope. Yeah, um, Madam Clerk, why don't we add that to the timeline? Sorry, what was that? It's the uh, March 11th amendments published to the public and that's a ceiling not a goal if we can get them done by the 8th or the 9th great let's get them published as soon as possible and that will include a communications campaign to get that information brought out. I have one other thing. Yep. Go ahead. We, curr we currently one. have committee meetings scheduled for March 3rd and March 24th that we might want to make sure to cancel. Yeah, at this point, I would direct the clerk to let's cancel the March 3rd, and uh, we could keep the 24th just in case. Um, let's cancel the 3rd, but keep the 24th. You just never know. We could also just go drink champagne. Should I put that in? The 24th. Yeah, or not. Oh. Drink tears. tears. So, um, Again, I'm going to ask the question. I can go back to it again. March 1st, public hearing already scheduled. March 7th, amendments to March 11th, deadline to have amendments published. March 15th, public hearing. March 18th, work session. March 23rd, special meeting. And then March 24th, potential committee meeting. Is there any objection to that calendar? Can you hear no objection. The calendar is adopted by the committee. Now, the next question for the committee is what to do with number 12. Oh, Ms. Kennedy. Go ahead. Thank you. There. Actually, my question is just in regard to the need for any other committee meetings once the once one map has been presented, has been forwarded by the body. At that point, everything belongs to the body. So I'm just kind of wondering at what, you know, what would be the need for the committee after that? So Thanks. that's a wild card meeting in case something doesn't go as planned on the 23rd and we have to go back to the drawing board for some reason, that committee would be to take up that. It's, the intent is to cancel that meeting because we aren't gonna need it. And since we're gonna have it scheduled, I would argue, let's just leave it on the calendar for now until we get a get through the process. So really, it's, it's a meeting that's gonna be a blank spot in your calendar because you're not gonna use it. Chair? Okay, thank you. Address. Originally, the committee also wanted to have one final meeting to do a debriefing, um, and I don't know, maybe write up recommendations for future committee. I don't know if that's right. And anymore. That was part of the discussion of at the final final meeting is kind of pulling together a proposed kind of AIM or some document that we would communicate to future us in ten years, the things we learned, the things we could do better, and so uh, that too could be on the twenty fourth, or that could be scheduled for another day. But that was the previous element for what was planned on that day. So just let's leave it as a wild card at this time. We'll have a decision about what we do with that very soon. Does that make sense, Ms. Kennedy? I'm sorry, I, can, I couldn't quite hear everything. So can you repeat that? Yeah, it was, oh, wow. Something came out. Uh, the, idea is to hold that date in case something comes up doesn't get done properly that we need to continue the work on the 24th or we use the 24th as an opportunity to uh, 
kind of do a debrief and prepare a communication for us in 10 years when it's totally different people. You know, how to do this, how we did it, and lessons learned. Okay, no, that makes sense, thanks. Okay, one last time, that's the question, you're directing the teller. Oh, Mr. Peterson. Um, just looking down um, at the agenda, it's um, some ongoing business, and I happen to have a question come to mind. Where are we looking, uh, how's it looking on our budget with our contractor at this point? Do we know? We're in good shape. We are? Yeah, we're in good shape. We're going to make it. Okay. And I just, just, just wanted to chat, you know, we, they, we keep them pretty busy. So, Ms. Peterson, yeah, your microphone was on. That was on. That was on. But, uh, yeah, the contractor has been busy, and I've been monitoring the burn rate, and we're on track. And if we need to, we'll come back for an additional appropriation, but I, I'm not anticipating that that's in our future. Fantastic. Okay, one last time. Any objection? Hearing no objection, the calendar is adopted. <laughs> now we'll move on to the question of map 12. So uh, there were questions asked why map 12 wasn't in the current viewer, the online viewer, and why it's in the archive. And the response was that the committee at its last meeting voted not to move that map forward. And I did not have the authority to move that map because the committee had taken an actual action. And so the question is, shall that map be moved to the main viewer, map 12? Mr. Wilson, I don't think we need to. No, I think it's definitely, it's in play. It needs to be at the top four. And I, I think make it much more clear on the, um, I'm trying to think, because I think any tie on there that this is the S version, S1, S2, whatever, two in some way, so that it depends on how people are looking at them. So people are thinking map number, version two, also the person's name, what people are starting to think of, but also that S version. So I think we need to accommodate all of those. But definitely move the form, then maybe have a gap so that the other ones more visually look like they're south play. Okay, so I can take the lead on that part. Ms. Kennedy's in the queue. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I'd like to see it moved uh, up on the website. I mean, it's already available on the Muni Assembly Agenda meeting or meeting agenda um, information. So I think they both those both need to match. You know, whatever we're doing with the uh, committee and we're sending people. It's not just the committee's um, website. It basically has been a place for the public to go to get any information on this entire process. So I don't feel like the committee actually owns the informational website, uh, but we should have it, the information there matching what is actually coming up on the assembly agendas. So I just think we need to have it uh, moved up and out of the uh, archive status. Thanks. Yeah, and I, I don't know, um, let's we'll have exactly what the committee is doing in this process and the committee made a uh, vote and the vote was specific. And so I didn't ask the chair have the right to argue that. I, I don't have any objection. Does anybody object? I'm hearing no objection. So uh, to the contractors, you are now authorized to move that map into the main viewer. So are there any other items of business that we need to address today at the committee before we proceed? Mr. Wheeler. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is there any guidance from the committee on how we should label and post up amendments onto the website? So, for example, you can do that six version three, or have it be some other number or some other name. Thank you. And that is a question we didn't resolve, but oh, I think if I have my way, it's we're going to do B one two three under S S one, and then that way we keep them. Can we, well, we kind of said we would address that question here, and so um, it's proper to be addressed here. During, I think that the, the gist was let's just keep them contiguous under the versions. Mr. Weber. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I would assume they're not true substitutes. Just for an example, up there on the screen, you have Map 7 version 2. I would assume we would post up a Map 7 version 3. If yeah, there was an amendment, okay. it would be that constant amendment one, two, S, you know, 2022 20, S, whatever, that would be 
labeled map 11 version whatever. Yeah, and that would be by that. Okay, thank you. And if, if the committee is okay, let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, just in this real so, so should some say then and move this piece here, that piece there, and so on. Maybe we make, like Mr. Constant said, there might be three little pieces moving. Um, and hopefully you write a little reason for each one. Is this, I mean, it's starting to get complicated with all the lines and the colors, but it would be nice to be able to see this is what the change was. I don't know, hash marks or something. Is that? Uh, Mr. Webkin, to the chair, I defer to Ashley in terms of whether we can do something like that for you. What we could do is on the map viewer enable something called layers. So we could put both data sets on the same map and you can check and uncheck them. So you could see them overlaid and then see, see the amendment layer and then see the original layer on top of one another. And I think that would be the best solution. So it would introduce new symbology that people aren't necessarily used to. And then they may be wondering, what does the hash mean? You know, what is this? So um, it's clearly labeled that this is the original version and this is the S1 amended version. We could put them on the same map. One possible solution. That sounds good if we have a fast computer in front of us. Yeah. But when we will be at the dais, there's black and white copies like we have here. So. It maybe maybe not have a different. It's like just draw the new lines on it, but then have a separate page and we just only show that piece of change. So maybe that's three pieces. So here's what I'm going to ask: like close, like close ups of where the change. Is. I'm going to ask instead of us parsing this here, the committee allows me to work out a functional system with the contractors that addresses these concerns: labeling, titling, workflow color check marks, whatever. Um, and it, we'll make sure we have color copies available of these maps because the color is pretty significant in, in the process. But I would just ask that the committee delegate that authority to me as the chair and I'll come up with a system with the contractors that's rational. I would be easier than trying to figure it exactly out here now. Is there any objection to that? There's no objection. That's the ongoing plan. So other matters of consideration. Okay, I'm not hearing any. At this time, I'm going to move into our audience participation part of the agenda. Anyone from the public want to be heard? Anyone on the phone? We have, there's three phone numbers listed online. Um, the person ending in 1207 would like to speak. You're unmuted now. Okay, not hearing anyone, then uh, we're going to close audience participation. I'm going to join this meeting. Thank you, everybody.